Hello everyone and welcome back to Faria. This is a new deck. It is a mono desert deck that I threw together with all my desert cards because I, you know, just want to keep trying with different combinations here. Um, and I think I'm going to redraw. Hmm, okay. Uh, let's play a land. And the thing is, with the desert, you don't really need Faria that much. Um, I do have meditations that will grant me Faria if I need them, but there's not that much that takes them. They're mostly a gold-based faction. And they seem like a rushdown faction, too. With a lot of creatures having plus power against orbs, so I think you're supposed to just kind of rush your opponent before he can get his his or her uh, Faria and gold production up. So I'm going to play another land. I'm going to draw. Cover target land that's occupied. Okay. Let me draw again. So I'm just going to try and book it and go straight for him. A Keldron Emissary. Let's do that. Probably play a land and play Keldron Emissary next turn. Then I'll get another gold. And um, end the turn. Probably play this uh, Shaitan Berserker next. That's odd. Putting a land next to my Conquest guy. Can only be attacked during morning. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um... Hmm, well, let's do this, play another desert, I will play a um, Keldran soldier, and I cannot attack him, so let's draw another card, an Oradrim Monk, power plus two against orbs, whenever a monk is destroyed you gain a Faria. Alright, so now I should be able to attack this guy. I'm sure he's going to use him to attack one of my guys. Probably the Keldron Soldier, which is fine. Very good. Oh, wait. No, I guess I don't get it. I can't attack him? Wait a minute. Oh, my morning comes... Oh, man. Okay, I didn't even realize that. Uh, well... Shoot. Alright. Well, I'll play a Shaitan Berserker. So he's gonna get to hit my Emissary again. Or wants... Bring him down to one. Unless he has some kind of pump up. wonder what my opponent's going to do here. So I'm kind of going all in against him here. <laughs> if this doesn't work, well, oh well. Flying charge three. Okay. I'm going to move him over there. Conquest. 
uh, kill that guy by using uh, meditation and then playing Shaitan Metamorphosis. So, meditation. Oh, wait a minute, but I can't do that. So what I'd have to do is... Hmm... Well, I can kill both of his creatures, but I'd have to do it another way. Hmm... I have two actions left. Hmm. Well, wait a minute. No, his upkeep is that he loses one life. Okay, no, no, no. This is okay. What am I doing? So I'll take that. Okay. So he should die next turn. Then I will move up. Kill him. Then he dies. Okay, so actually I still didn't make a mistake though. Kill your emissary. Alright, so his useful duelist will be able to kill me. Let's see, so if I play him, the Youthful Duelist can kill him, so I have to play him, like, back here. Hmm. I think this turn I just collect gold. The important thing is that I do have a land that is right next to his orb, so his orb is threatened. Hmm. A flying manta ray. Hmm. Alright, let's play this so that he'll lose. Faria whenever he collects it. And um, let's draw another card. Keldron Soldier. It's gonna be it's gonna be rough with that flying manta there. Hmm. We'll play a land there. Out of range of the charge, I will draw gold, and um, that's it. I'm going to need to drop the Keldron Emissary so that I can withstand the attack from the Youthful Duelist. Alright, so now he's going to charge me, it looks like. Ooh, a steam forge. Okay. Um, well, it looks like I'm going to have to play my emissary back here. Then I will... Play some more land and try to surround the land that he has. I'll draw a card. Ooh, Shaitan Assassin. That's going to be useful. Because he has uh, haste. Alright. So I can haste and kill the duelist. Because anywhere he moves from here, there's going to be one of my friendly deserts there. I still have two fairy in, in my pool. 
So he's dead. I'm hoping he charges the Flying Manta. But he's not going to do that, though. Not until the... Not until he has Faria to pay for his Steam Forge. So is he going to go collect Faria? Hmm. Well, actually, I think I'm going to kill the, the Manta. Yeah, I think that'd be the best best bet. Alright, I'll pay this. Get the Shaitan Assassin. Haste that mother trucker right into the Manta. I will then move up my Emissary. And... Let's draw another card. Ooh, my own Flying Manta. Cool. Um, in the turn. So Youthful Duelist could kill this guy, but if he does, my Keldrum Emissary is obviously going to move up and attack the Youthful Duelist. So now, what is he going to do? If he attacks, the Duelist is dead. Most likely. Unless, unless he has some way to destroy this land. Gains charge 2. Why would you do that? There's nowhere he can move that's safe. Okay. That was a waste of a card. The only way he could have went that was safe is blocked off by a steam forge. All right, so now I move up my emissary. We kill that guy, and now it's a straight shot to his um, orb. So I probably want to play the Oradrim Monk since it has bonus damp. Well, no. What I want to do is play the Flying Manta, I think. Just to get it on the board. And in my turn. Alright, so he plays a Keldrum Soldier in the one place I can't reach. That's fine. I can uh, move up my Manta up here, then I will threaten his Keldrum Soldier, but I also get to deal damage to that. I will move this guy up. I know he has Conquest, but I don't want him to get killed by the Soldier. Um, let's see. I will gain a gold, gain a gold, and then play a... My own Keldrum Soldier here. Wait. No. Let's make a desert here. And play him up here. That's a more forward position. He now threatens this square, possibly, if I need to. And then I will end my turn. So now, my people are in a position that if he does give this guy charge, he would be able to take out somebody, but then I'll have somebody, you know, to take out him. So he could charge up to here, either take out my soldier or my emissary, but then my emissary... You see what I'm saying? So now I'm kind of covered. And obviously I, I am probably going to move up my Manta and take out his soldier next turn. If he doesn't put something right there. So yeah, the feeling that I got when I was putting this deck together is that this is a very rushy deck since it doesn't really rely that much on Faria, so that's why I played it this way. Alright, so he did have a Haster. That is unfortunate, but that's it's fine though. I can move up my Keldrum Soldier up, kill it, then move my Manta up here, kill him, and I should be okay. And then I'll be able to play my Aradrum Monk. Yeah. Right there. Awesome. Alright. So we move him up. He kills him. We move him up here. He kills him. We will gain two gold. Play the monk there. And draw a card. 
Another monk. Cool. So unless he has a deck full of hasters, he's looking very bad right now. I mean, even if he does, I'm still, I think, okay. Alright, so he drew two cards and got a gold. I assume he's looking for an answer. Uh, let's see, next turn I'll play another monk, move this monk up. Probably take out the steam forge, move the... Alright, never mind. So I don't think my opponent had any answers to this. Uh, looks like the Rushdown deck uh, can win. This is my first time playing just a mono desert deck. And it, I don't know, it seemed to work pretty good by not spending time getting Faria. I think this is the right way to play this deck, right? Because, I mean, it even gives you those Metamorphosis cards, which grants you Faria, plus the Celestial Tower, which grants you Faria. So I'm pretty sure those are supposed to be your Faria income, and you're not actually supposed to go and collect Faria. Especially since they have another building that, you know, anyway. Uh, so good game to my opponent there, and hope you enjoyed this match, and I'll see you all next time. Take care.